So I've got the question here. London Olympics, 400 meter women's medley world record in the pool. Chinese swimmer Yishi Wen, 4 minutes 28.43. Now that is a fucking fast time. And apparently the last 100 meters, 50 meter split was faster than uh, Michael Phelps and uh, that Ryan Lockshee guy. So that's a pretty good swim. It means that she had a lot in reserve. If she, if you can bang out the last 50 or 100 that fast, it means you're really just tapping away there. <laughs> she means she could have probably done a, you know, who knows, maybe a sub 422 or something like that. Great performance. Now, people are saying, the American coaches are saying, oh, but there's probably some doping going on there. And it's like, it's so hypocritical, man. I mean, the Yanks are the kings of the hot sauce. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay for Phelps, you know, to win six medals or whatever, and that's okay, because he's a Yank and it's all good, but then, you know, the Chinese swimmer comes along and smashes everyone, and now all of a sudden, she's a dope, you know, she's on the hot sauce, and it's like, isn't that a bit contradictory? Like, all the, you know, all the top-level athletes that get busted, top-level athletes that get busted, they're coming from the US, and they're on the hot sauce. And then the US coaches are jumping up and down and going, oh, our, our athletes should be winning, you know. <laughs> We've got the best hot sauce. And it's like, it's pretty funny, isn't it? Reality is, man, if you're smashing world records, you're on the hot sauce. Doesn't matter where you come from. You're on the hot sauce, man. Your hot sauce chef is a fucking good chef and you've done the training. The Chinese do have a track record of some outstanding performances in running, women's running. The women's 10,000 meter world record, I think it's like 29.31. It's set in 1993. <laughs> Still holding today. The women's 3,000 meter world record. I think it's like 8.06 around about. Fast time. 1993. I think the lady's name, Wang. Wang Junixi or something like that. Some Chinese name. Great runner. World record. Still holding. You know, 19 years later. So there's no doubt that the Chinese know how to train. A lot of them are vegetarian and vegan. So that's definitely going to help your performance. Are they on the hot sauce? Man, anyone fucking running that fast doing that effort is going to be dabbling with some hot sauce. That's just how it is, man. Like, I like when people just jump up and down and go, that's not right. It's like, hey, man, if you're a fucking world record breaker at that level in those sports, you're on the hot sauce. That's just how it is. <laughs> so I enjoy watching it. I understand what's going on. But I find it funny when people say, oh, that's, that's cheating. It's like, it's not cheating, man. Everyone's in the same soup, man. Everyone's got the Tabasco going on there. <laughs> this is how it is, man. All the coaches have got the Tabasco in the fridge and stuff like that. It's hot sauce. It's uh, just how it is, man. It's part of the business. The show must go on. That's how it is. I don't say it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's just how it is. And the sooner people can get over that, the sooner we can probably go, hang on, hot sauce is really fucked up for your health. Let's get off that stuff and let's go to more natural methods. But until then... Until we get out of fairy tale world and go, oh, it's just a few minority people that's on the hot sauce, and realize it goes 100 fucking percent of the big names on the hot sauce of all sports tennis, swimming, running, cycling, boxing, whatever, powerlifting, weightlifting, bodybuilding, hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce. The sooner we can understand that concept, the sooner we can go, hey, this is wrong, we need to change it. Post your comments and questions down below. Want to learn more? Join the cult. Subscribe for 30 bananas a day. Paranoia, we'll see you soon.